Hello my sweet friends and welcome to DIY with Nadia. Today I'm going to show you how to make a Christmas tree bow topper using Dollar Tree ribbon. Let's get started. For this bow I will be using a red and a gold ribbon. They're both two and a half inches and they're also both three yards. They're from the Dollar Tree. And I'm doing this for someone who has a Christmas tree that is gold, silver, and red. We are going to incorporate the silver a little differently here. The fold is going to be very noticeable. I am going to cut this off. And I just let that roll off my table. Next, I'm going to bring in the red one. And this one, the crease is going to be shown too. So I'm just going to cut that off right on that crease. I'm going to overlay it. I think this looks so beautiful overlapping. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a 12 inch tail. So measuring that off and then bringing my 12 inches right there to the center because this is going to be the center of the bow and it's going to be at six inches. We're going to have 12 inch loops, which means six inches if we kind of lay them flat. So this is going to be a great mark for us. I'm going to flip it upside down and start measuring my loops. I'm going to bring the loop over because this ribbon does have a front and back end. So you want the front end to always be on the outside of your bow. I got my six inches right here made my loop then to go on this side i'm going to twist it in the middle that way the outside of this ribbon right here is going to be on the outside of the loop i'm going to go down to the 12 inch mark right here which will make it six inches and then go back to the center then i'm going to take them and twist them right there at the six inch mark taking the outside of my ribbon to the outside again then going to zero and then going back to our six inch mark and then twisting it now if you feel like this is getting just a little bit too much and it's kind of hard for you to keep it that's all right grab your floral wire and just bring it together and then continue working your way up I just wanted to show you how to do this without a bow maker, but if you do want me to grab one and start showing you bows with a bow maker, please let me know and once in a while I'll use that. Okay, going back to 12 and I'm just going to continue doing this until my ribbon runs out. All right, I have this tail left over, but if I made another loop, the tails would just be a little too short. So I'm going to keep it at that. Now I'm bringing my floral wire in, and this is just floral wire from the Dollar Tree. And before I tighten it up, I'm going to fold my bow in half, right there, just to make sure I have everything centered. There you go. All of these are nice and even. And if you're having a hard time with a ribbon, here is what I do sometimes because this one's a little thin. As I grab little uh, pliers or anything you have on hand, this is just a needle holder right here. And I'm just going to pinch it and then work my ribbon around that. That way it's all secure and you don't have to play around with it. And then now I'm just, there you go. I'm going to twirl it. And that way you can play around and make it tighter and tighter as much as you need it to be. Okay, now that we have our bow secured in the center, I am going to first measure my tails off just so we don't have to mess with it later. But I like to wait to do the little dovetails all the way at the end. With this ribbon, it should be fine, but usually if I'm afraid a ribbon would fray, I like to, you know, wait till the end. So now what I'm going to do is one side of the tail, I'm going to put on one side. The other side, I'm going to pull on the other side. And this is the fun part. We're going to start taking them apart. And 
and start playing with the bow itself. Okay, look at this. We have a big, beautiful bow, and I only opened up one side. I'm going to continue opening it up on the other side. Look at this. We didn't use anything. All we used was a little ruler. And look at this, a beautiful bow. Now I'm going to make little V's right here. Dovetails, ducktails, whatever you want to call them. Sometimes people get upset if I call it the wrong name, but I'm like, I don't know, it's a little tail. I'm just going to call it tail. I'm just going to make a little V-shaped tail. All right. And then the last one. And look how big this bow is. I'm going to show you what it looks like on my little tree, but on her big tree, it's going to look so perfect. Look how pretty this bow is. I'm so in love with this bow. All right, so I was thinking whether I wanted to do banner tails or not on this one, and I'm going to up to doing them just because this ribbon right here kind of curls, so it kind of looks almost sloppy but it's not obviously so um, all I'm going to do is just make little ribbons going about two-thirds from the beginning of my tail right here because I figure the bow's going to be on top of the tree and then these tails are going to go down so I'm just going to do it a few inches off of the bottom and this will straighten it out as you can see this went from kind of being wrinkled like this to a nice little tail and so of course I'm going to do the same thing with this one I'm going to measure it real quick so I know how much to bend on the other side all right so let me go a little slower here when I decided where I'm going to go I'm going to pinch it up just like that pinch the bow up then with these two fingers you're going to hold it and bring it back and then you're going to have a little kind of a little heart almost right here and then bam the tail going out this way and there you go there's the tail let me measure this real quick i'm going to bend it up i'm going to pinch it on the sides where we have the wire and then just curl it back right there and that's it you have your little ribbon tails next I'm going to use this little silver branch to bring silver into the bow because uh, her tree has red gold and silver and what I'm going to do is just cut it up into little pieces right here I have them all cut up and this one's a little bit on the longer side I'm going to cut it right here. Somebody asked me what these pliers were called. These are called end pliers because when someone, for example, you make a bow, you want to cut it all the way to the edge, this would be perfect to cut. It's, you know, a, just a flat little cutter. And I absolutely love using this little guy. And it's not something that's really expensive either. All right, when I have my length, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bend it about half an inch to an inch. This is going to help me secure it to the bow. So for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my little silver branches, bend them a little bit, and just start placing them where I feel like they need to go. And then we're going to hot glue them in place. All of this is pretty much Mod Podged on here. So in order to make sure that this little branch stays in place, I removed it from this part that's going to get hot glue on it to attach it to the bow itself. Now I have my silver branches in place. I'm going to just start hot gluing them to the bow itself. And of course, I'm going to try to do it where you won't be able to see the hot glue behind and underneath the actual bows or the actual loops right here. I just hot glued these two branches, but I'm going to wait until I do the rest of them to make sure that they don't move. So I'm just going to wait for the hot glue to settle in before I move on. But that's it. I'm just going to finish off doing the other branches. 
and our bow is complete what do you guys think and of course i would love to know if you're gonna give it a try and what colors you're going to be using because you can definitely do this in so many color combos and the last step is how we're going to attach this to the actual tree so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take a 20 gauge wire that's 18 inches i'm going to overlap it about an inch I know it's hard to tell and I'm just going to twist it and then this part that's kind of ugly is going to actually go in the middle of the bow but before I do that I'm going to flatten it and this is going to and then twist it just a little bit there grabbing my little needle holder here and here I'm just twisting it in place and then I'm going to twist the other side. This is just going to make it nice and strong. You don't need this to be too long. All you need to do is to attach it to the top branch. And then I'm going to go in the middle here. I gave it two twists in the back and now you have this strong wire to attach it to the top of the tree. Or sometimes it'll hold if you just put it right inside the tree. And that's it but this is plenty this is more than enough to wrap it around the top branch <laughs> 